All right, this is a helpful video. Practical theory, lesson six. This is about measures, bar lines, and double bar lines. Okay, so as I said, lesson six, measures, bar lines, and double bar lines. So music is divided into measures. So here's a measure, and then it's separated by these bar lines. So music is divided into equal parts called measures. Bar lines indicate the beginning and end of measures. So here's the five line four space staff. And to divide it into measures, you'll use these bar lines. The bar lines go from the top line to the bottom line, as you can see. So look if you look closely again, from the top to the bottom. They don't go above or below, top line to the bottom line. And again, as you remember from lesson one, the five line four spaces staff. So the distance between the bar lines is called a measure. Double bar lines, again, not regular bar lines, that's a regular bar line, which have one thin and one thick, show the end of a piece. The end of the piece of the song, end of the song, end of the whatever song it is, every piece of music has a double bar line to indicate the end. So that's what a double bar line looks like. So remember, it has one thin right here and one thick right here. One thin right here, one thick right here. A regular bar line, like this, and then the measures are between the bar lines. See, look at that. Now, this bottom part now is pretty simple. All you have to do is draw six bar lines on the staff below. So I would divide it as evenly as possible, okay? So on this staff right here, I would divide it into six bar lines as evenly as possible. Don't put them all on one end. You know, spread it out so it's divided evenly. On the next one, it says um, divide the staff below into six measures and end it with a double bar line. So remember, back up here, double bar line has a thick and a thin one. So for that one, for number two, six measures, end it with a double bar line. So the double bar line has to go on the end, just like it is up here. All right, the next one gets even trickier. So now you have to draw a treble clef right here. You draw the treble clef right here, treble clef right here, and then you divide into six measures. Now see, so here I put one here, 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 put the double bar line at the end. See, double bar line at the end. Now you have to name the note. So you have to draw a treble clef, and you put a whole note in each measure, and you can put the whole note anywhere on, on the staff. So from the bottom line to the top line, any space in between, but then name the note. So you draw your treble clef, draw your bar lines, and with the double bar line, and then draw a whole note, and then label what the note is. And they should all be different notes. Don't draw the same note for each one. The next one, number four, is very similar to three. You have to draw a bass clef. You draw the bass clef on the staff right here. Divide the staff into six measures, just like here. But now you have to put two notes in each measure and name the notes and end it with a double bar line. I actually put the double bar line there for you. So bar line would go here, bar line here, bar line here, bar line here, and here. And now you put a half note. See, there's examples of half notes right here. Um, on the staff, and then you have to name it based on the bass clef. And then the last one, draw a treble clef, divide into six measures, add four quarter notes in each measure. So that's what quarter notes look like. And the reason you're given two examples of these is because if you're on or above the third line, the stem goes down on the left. And if it's below the third line, the stem is right and up, same as the half notes. Um, name the notes and the staff of the double bar line. So double bar line goes there, the treble clef goes here, and a quarter note goes above each of these lines and make sure you name it. And that's it for um, lesson six.